Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the CC avatar from Character Creator 4.1 and import into Unreal Engine 5.1, retarget it and make it become your main avatar and also any of your NPC with the facial expression more. Everything will from Character Creator 4.1. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. The first what you are going to do is just go to my video description here. To get the Freedom Animation Pipeline version, it's for Unreal Engine 5.1. This is the link. Once you download it, it is a zip file and you have to extract it into your computer. You will get the Freedom Animation Pipeline version 8 for Unreal Engine 5.1. And then, in your character creator for Estelle Mall, I'm going to just open a random avatar. For example, I will choose CC4 Camilla 2. Just follow the step by step here, everything will work perfectly. And you should be able to make, make any of the CC3 and CC4 avatar to become the main avatar or NPC in your Unreal Engine 5.1 game project. Now, you can see this is the CC Camilla. And the first thing what we are going to do is just export it out. So, I create a new folder on my desktop. I name this as from CC4 4.1. Alright, like this. To export it, just click File, Export, FBX, Clove Corrector. And then, the target tool preset here, usually, you may just think that if you want to import into Unreal Engine, you will choose the Unreal. But for this time, I discovered another a better method, that is choose the Maya format. Choose the Maya here, and then, the setting here, just scroll down. Scroll down until you can see use the T post as bind post. Just like this. Just two step. And then export it. Click OK. And export on export into this folder. Control C to copy this destination location and paste it here. Control V and press enter. And the file name, the FBX name, I'm going to name this as Camilla. Right, I click save. It is going to export it as FBX file. Alright, now you can see the FBX already ready. Then you can just minimize your CC4. And then the next part is the Unreal Engine 5.1. I will open my Unreal Engine 5.1 editor. Right, as demo, I'm going to create a fresh new game project, a third person game project. Now you can see the project name is My Project 12. This is the project name, always remember. As demo, I'm not going to change the project name. I click create. Now, the new game project is launching. Just wait for a while. Alright, now everything done, you can see if I play, by default, this Mana Queen, this UE5 Mana Queen is the main avatar. Right. And this is the content folder. If you can't see the content browser, you just go to the window, content browser to call it out. Like this. Back to the content folder. And then, you already download the Freedom Animation Pipeline version 8 for Unreal Engine 5.1 Before that Then you have to go to the document The Unreal Project 
and find the project. The project name is my project 12. So my project 12. And open your freedom animation pipeline folder. Just copy the content to copy and paste it here. Everything will be under the content folder. Right click to copy and here right click to paste the freedom the freedom animation pipeline version is here. Alright, once done already, you close everything, you back to your Unreal Engine 5.1 project. The freedom animation pipeline already are there. You can see everything already there. The next step, just import your CC 4.1 avatar. And I will just create a new folder under the content folder. Name this as Camilla 2. Right, I double click in and import the FBX file into here. Just drag in. Close. And wait for a while. Go to the advanced. Under the advanced, import the morph target you have to take it so that you can import all the VSAM, the facial expression morph from here. Then click import all. Then here you have to wait for a while. It is importing. It may take some time importing the FBX meshes. Right, done. The first thing what you are going to do is just go to retarget it. To retarget it, I already made all the retargeter for you. You don't need to worry about that. Just check your skeleton mesh here. This is the Camilla too. Right. Right. Then you can close it. Click file, save all. This step is very crucial because if you don't save all, anything happens, everything will be lost. Just save all and wait for a while again. Now it is going to save all the new files. If you not yet save it, then it is just in, in your RAM. It is in your memory card. Then if you, you accidentally crash the program, all of this will lost. You have to wait until it finish saving. Right now everything done and your avatar ready inside your Unreal Engine 5.1 and you can see all of this the morph the morph already here let's say if you test it all right for every time you test it it is preparing the shader again all of these are facial expression more. You can just just use it anytime when you want. Close it. Now we are going to make it become the main avatar. To make it become the game the game avatar, the main avatar, you have to back to here. Go to my freedom animation pipeline. You should be able to see the UE4A post mana queen. Double click in. 
and then go to the animation the animation blueprint for this one the third person animation blueprint right click it retarget and click duplicate and retarget it the IK retargeter you have to choose the UE the UE4 A post to CC4 IK retargeter like this and then here you have to choose your own avatar the Camilla too make sure all the step by step you already follow once done already you click retarget now all of the all of the, the motion already done then under the Camilla folder just create a new folder here right click create a new folder name this as animation then back to the content folder make sure you can see the animation and we are going to move all of this into here so click the first one hold the shift click the last one move everything into the animation folder and click move here all right next if you want to make it become the main avatar just back to the content the third person blueprint you should be able to see a third person a blueprint third person character right click to duplicate this and behind there you put an underscore camera to enter then double click click the mesh click the viewport the skeletal mesh assets you have to choose the camera too then the animation class before you, you change this wait here you save this first and close back to the content the camera tool the animation you can see the third person animation blueprint here you have to rename it press f2 to rename it put an underscore behind camera to enter make sure you rename this so that later you you can see which animation blueprint you are going to choose back to the content go to the third person again the blueprint here the bp third person character Camilla go to the mesh go to the viewport the animation class you have to choose the third person animation blueprint Camilla 2 once everything done you click save compile save close now you already have a blueprint but if you play the main avatar still still the mana queen we are going to change this just press escape back to here in order to change the main avatar you have to go to bp third person game mode here and then the default point class this is the main avatar you, ch you have to change it to become bp third person character camilla 2 change it and save compile close now if you play then you, you should be able to see that your CC4 avatar already become the main avatar. This is Camilla 2. Now you already successfully made this character creator 4.1 avatar to become the game avatar in your Unreal Engine 5.1 game project. And everything done. Right then, click File, Save All. That's all for today about my tutorial on how to export the CC4.1 CC avatar and import into Unreal Engine 5.1 to make it become the main avatar and also any of the NPC. As long as you have the blueprint, you just need to drag it out, then she will become an NPC at there. This is the NPC. And it also includes the, the facial morph just now as, as I already show you. The facial morph. All of these are the facial morph. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial and sharing, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.